Okay, Jeremy, you've come up here because we're going to discuss your REIT sheet that you filled out. What we're going to do is we're going to have a look at how you have scored yourself on the REIT sheet this time. The REIT principles are... Respect, enthusiasm, altruism, commitment, and honesty. Excellent. Okay, and we're going to start with respect. Now, what you had to do was you had to, to sort of evaluate how you had done in the last two weeks since we did this last time. And you had to look at all these different aspects of res respect. I'm going to read the first one. Is courteous to peers and teachers? How did you score yourself on that? I gave myself a four. Why did you do that? Because I, I think I can be a little more courteous to my peers. Then with the teachers, I'm really good. But with the peers, mm -hmm. I think I can respect them more. OK, and how could you do that? By doing personal space. A personal space. I, I would agree with that because sometimes you get a little bit close to people and and um, and sometimes they don't like to be tickled, do they? Yeah. Are you okay. So I'm going to give you a four on that one as well. Raise his hand before speaking in class. You've given yourself a two in that. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like I never raise my hand. The reason why you gave yourself a two, I think, is because it's something that we talk about a fair bit. But I. Yeah. I'm going to give you a four on that because I've seen a huge improvement in that, okay? okay? Which is great to see. There's still a little bit more in there though. Yeah. Uses appropriate language and tone. I'd like to congratulate that because you use your manners and you're very respectful to teachers and your friends when you're speaking to them. Has pride in self and school. You've only given yourself a four there. Why would that be? Because I think that I could do a little bit more in myself because I really like my school. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I'm like, oh, rats, oh, I can't do this. Okay, well, I'm going to give you a five there because it's really nice to see a child that's so proud of their school. And I think maybe you're a little hard on yourselves because what are we in the classroom? We call the... Can-do club. The can-do club, okay. This is one of the REACH principles that you shine in, enthusiasm. Participates in class. I'm going to agree with you totally. I'm going to give you a five there. You have a five. Demonstrates a positive attitude. Now let me have a look at you. Look up at me. You look pretty positive to me. Why would you give yourself a four? Why well, is that? I feel I can be more positive because sometimes maybe I come into the class and I do my C work. Then maybe it's time for math, and I'll go, oh, math. But then once I start doing it, I'm like, yeah, I love this. Mm -hmm. I can do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, does that last very long, or do you sort of get into the spirit? I, sort, I always get into the spirit after, like, five minutes. I think you do, and I think you're allowed to sort of think that, because you know what I sometimes think? Oh, I don't really want to do this, but then I think, ah, oh, it's we've got to do it. Yeah. Okay? That's quite, I'm going to give you a five there. Okay. It's cooperative. I definitely agree with that, a five. Is involved in extracurricular activities. Now, what are extracurricular activities, Jeremy? There, there are things that you do outside of school. And what sorts of things do you do? Um, piano and horseback riding. So you're a pretty busy guy out of school. Yeah. We'll give you a five there, okay? Altruism. Could you like to explain to me what altruism is? means... How, how you care for others and things. Mm -hmm. And do you expect them to do something nice to you back again? Because sometimes we do things and we want something back in return. No, and we I don't, sort of do things I don't for like a that. reason. Okay, so you've got cares for others. You care for others? I think pretty good. I think I would give you a five for that. Helps someone without wanting something in return. I would agree with that one because you're a very generous guy. Okay? Commitment is prepared for class. You've given yourself a four. Why would that be? And sometimes I'm a little unorganized. Mm hmm Okay, so that sort of be a little bit more organized. But yeah. when you come into the classroom, do you have all your work or do you have to keep running back out to your bag and getting stuff? I have all my work. Are you getting all your homework done, that means? Yeah. You are? So I'm going to give you a five for that one. Is punctual. You've given yourself a four for punctual. I think you are pretty punctual. That Sometimes you're a little late for school, but that's not yeah. your problem. That is a problem you're having with traffic or 
or getting organised with at home, right? But when I, the whistle goes or it's time to line up, you're there in a the flash, okay? So I'm going to give you a five for that one. Uses class time effectively. I, I think sometimes that you could do a little better there. Well, I feel I could do lots better with doing my class time effectively because sometimes I feel like I'm daydreaming or just looking around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. I think I can put more effort into that. Okay, so I'm going to give you a four there. Completes homework on time, always does that. Number five for that. Sets personal goals for success. You are a really good goal setter. Do you find it hard to make goals? No, I find it really easy to make goals. You know how to set it and how to sort of get to, to achieve it, don't you? You work out yeah. some strategies. Last one, honesty. Is truthful with peers and teachers. You've given yourself a four. That really surprises me. Because I think I can do a little bit better. Sometimes I leave stuff out uh -huh. when I should just say the whole thing, but I leave stuff out sometimes. So that's sort of a little bit lazy? Yeah. Uh, I, I think I'll give you a five for that because I've, mm -hmm. never, I've never seen you uh, in a situation where you've decided to not tell the truth. You're pretty honest when you've made a mistake, aren't you? Yeah, pretty. Yeah, pretty, yeah. Actions are consistent with words. Integrity, that's a really big word, integrity. Just means if you say that you're going to play with someone or you're going to do your homework, that you follow through and do it. You don't change your mind halfway through, okay? So you've given yourself a four there. Well, I'm going to give you a five because what this really means is are you truthful with peers and teachers? So if someone asked you, was that you I saw pushing someone in the playground, you'd go, yeah. Yes, it was me, and, and, I, and I think you're a pretty honest guy. Okay, now we move on to how you've gone about fulfilling these things. During these weeks, I have been sent to time out. No. During these weeks, I have served on community service. No. During these weeks, I have had a bus incident. No. That's easy, you don't go on the bus. <laughs> During these weeks, I have been in homework room. No. Okay, so you've got a perfect score there. Well done. Now we come to your goal. My goal. Could you read out your goal for me? My goal is to do better in the lunchroom. Okay. I would agree with that. That's something that we've been working on, and we've started to work out some strategies for the lunchroom. First of all, let's say, what is the problem in the lunchroom? Probably I go up to someone and I, and I get too close, like I sit right too, like next to them, and it's a little close. Mm -hmm. But we're doing a lot, I'm doing a lot better with that. We've That's got good. some good stuff going on. Okay, so what are, you, what are you going to do to achieve the goal to sort of stay a little bit more settled in the lunchroom? Well, I think picking a spot that I know that I won't get into trouble with. That's a good one. And I know that I won't get rambunctious. Mm -hmm. And I think that. So I will achieve this goal by, you've left that blank. Do you think you could come up with a couple of strategies for reaching that goal? I think so. Okay. Well, tell me one. Um, what we're doing, like, right now is, like, when it's lunch, mm -hmm. a teacher comes to get me in the middle of lunch and we go for a walk. Yeah, and then after we go for that walk, it's lunch recess, so I can run around out there. Mm-hmm. Okay, and does that help use up some of your energy? I think it does. Okay, well there's one good strategy, so we could write that down there as a strategy. The only things we both agreed on that needed a bit of help was that you needed to be maybe a little bit courteous to your peers by um, respecting their personal space around them and remembering to put your hand up before you've got the answer because you're so enthusiastic sometimes you just want to tell us the answer straight away. Yeah. Okay? Do you agree with that? More, okay, yeah. Okay, but well done. Have a great day.